Hi, this is Donnell. Uh, I have a company called Designs R Us, and uh, I do a lot of pictures and designer pictures. Uh, one thing I'm gonna show you guys today is how to um, how to take a picture out of background and place it in something else. Uh, there's a lot of ways you can do this, but with my way, I think it's real simple. So we can get started. I'm using an uh, operating system, Windows 8. As you can see, Windows 8 has a a new two desktops and uh, we can go back to the original desktop alright let's get started with the picture I'm going to open up a file I'm going to go into uh, my pictures and grab one out of here that's uh, suitable if I can alright let's take this one here all right, we can press Control Zero to put it to the screen. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get a tool, a tool, not the cropping tool. Uh, which tool I'm going to get? Uh, this is a CS6, CS6. So they move the tools around. I'm going to get the selection tool. Now with the selection tool, you can drag it to basically where you want it to go. If you push Shift Alt, you can bring it out. You bring it out right here. Shift Alt. I say we'll do it like this. And I think that looks pretty good for that side. And just press delete. Okay, first of all, it's axing. We didn't want to do that. Okay, so we're going to deselect this. I forgot to. We're going to edit. We're going to undo the select. Edit. We're going to step backwards. Place, place, place that back in there. All right, then we're going to deselect, which is Control D. What we're going to do is unlock the layer. Now we're going to select. Okay. We'll Shift Alt. See when you Shift Alt, this right here turns from a, a plus in the middle to a minus, and you can drag it back okay we press the lead and then we should see all right that's gone okay control D deselect come over here all right we don't want to get this part of the shirt so shift alt and we delete okay now uh, control D deselect by this these two colors are being so close together that's why it's picking up all of that all right so we delete control D basically I'll go in there with my eraser tool and get the refine Give me a hard brush come down here and just get rid of that bring the brush down a little bit go in here and finish basically what I have to do here to test that out now it's a lot of things we could do with this photo like you can go into the image and you can go to uh, image adjustment or auto contrast image rotation trim mode you do a lot of stuff in here 
So, uh, what we're going to do is, we're going to save this image as a ping. Just to make a quick video going here. Save it as a PNG. Right. Hit enter. And it's saved as a PNG. Alright, we can get up out of here. Wait a minute. Council. Let's let's do that again. Teaching guys wrong. Save as PNG. Okay, the American PNG. Alright, we have a right there. Okay, it already exists. I just want to know what was the name of the file. Alright, we can get up out of here. We don't need to save it no longer. Alright, we can go somewhere like uh, uh, images. Search for a background. Actually, I um, do a lot of stuff. Find some beautiful black background up in here, or we can create our own. This is just. This is just, uh, let's try this. We'll save that to the pictures. That'll come through. Once they come through, we'll show you how we do things. All right, um, we got that background. We can come up out of here. We'll go back in Photoshop. We can open the background. And where is the background? There it is. Open. I try to be color coordinated with things. Control zero. We got some stuff here on the background. So. What I'll do is I'll go get this clone brush and I'll clean it up like that. And I'll select this with Alt, hit my key, and go through here and take this off. We don't need that on there. Alright, so now I'm going to place a file on top of here. We'll place the ping. Just this one took her out the background. Place her in there. All right, what we'll do is we'll blow her up. Blow her up. Hit enter. She's looking pretty good. Except we could have went across all of this right here and got it a little better. I'll show you that in another tutorial. All right, we can add a. Uh, You can add some text. Come up with a text. Uh, what we'll do is uh, we'll hit Shift Control New, add a new layer, make it text. Come up with a color. Uh, we can take the picker and pick a color from and one of these. That we think with uh, let's try this color here. All right, we'll put the best, the best, or we'll do this, the. Okay, we'll go with that. We're finished with that. Edit, transform, scale, come out. 
like that. Put it here. All right, hit enter. That's 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 kind of good. We can go back to the text. Highlight it. Um, make it bold. Bold. Okay. That's even better. All right. Bring it over a little bit. Go in here. Put a stroke around it. Find some kind of stroke that's color coordinated. Let's try to stroke off her face. We go to the stroke. Do a color. Get the stroke off her face. Yeah, that's better. I like to keep stuff color coordinated by the drop shadow. Uh, do a drop shadow. That's good. All right. And that's that. So, with this, we'll save this. We'll, we'll, we'll um, do the image size adjustments. Uh, go with inches. Most pictures are 8.5 and uh, 11. We want it for print. We want to print this out. We'll do a resolution of 300. No more, no less. To me, you know, that's just from my experience. But we want it from the, for the web, and we'll press OK, and uh, there you have it. It's a nice picture. So, with that, this is Daniel Larkins uh, promoting designs on us. Give us a call.